Especially since there are manga in the background. It's like coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? Hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read it. Yep. Yeah, just graphic novel section. Mm -hmm. you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So, are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, she's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? But you're... Hold on. <laughs> Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? Th though, it's good to be yourself. You guys are just a little different, like me. We are nothing like you. And why is that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're going to get fucked up on whippets and make out. Hey, that was completely uncalled for. Wow, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But I have done that to my manga. She shouldn't act like it's wrong, though. Oh, God. Should I have fucking so walk into another trap. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I started a YouTube channel. Y you guys want to see it? No, we gotta go by whippets. I never tried. But I want to see it so I can bully him some more. Huh. And then the counselor got so weird, he called my mom. That's a sick target shot. I love it. If I ever mentioned he was a pedophile. And what'd your mom say? She believed him. We had like an hour long fight over it. Right, honey? Right, honey? Dude, I said don't call me that in public. <laughs> I, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want it in private, why would I want it in public? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries and everything. Boundaries? I didn't know you're dating a marriage counselor. What's up, queers? Nicole. Dude, she's not gonna do anything. Heard you guys were dating now. What are you, special or something? Why do you care? Sorry to hoes like you always looking for attention. Find one other person in this room who cares. No one's yeah, literally nobody sure asked. They they are. Are. Hey, Hunter. What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? It's kind of hot. Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay anymore? Dude, fuck Obama. He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. Why would he vote for McCain? He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> True? Well, sorry, dude, but your dad sounds really fucking gay voting for McCain. What? No, no, you're gay. <laughs> okay. Thanks for taking care of that, Nicole. No problem. Uh. Hey, could you go to the longest pizza line and get me four slices? Yeah, sure, anything. Okay. Why aren't you going? You won't kiss me on the cheek first? Oh my god. Uh. Okay, I'll be right back. Ugh, disgusting. What, are you straight again? No, I have dollar store foundation on my lips now. Ugh, this could double as baby formula. <laughs> or a girlfriend. So? So take your bitch to Ulta. No, uh. I'm gonna limit the exposure. That's why I sent her to the pizza line. But you haven't even dated for a week yet. Fucked up, right? Did she do something wrong? She just gets really awkward when you're around her for long enough. Awkward how? Okay, so she was in my room while I was changing real quick. Then she saw one nipple for like a second and was all, Oh my god, I'm sorry I look, but you're so sexy, you're so sexy, I'm so lucky to have you. Like, bitch, fuck off. I've seen her with guys before, I don't know why she's acting like such a virgin. She's probably just a virgin with girls, it's like a higher echelon. But if she's so gay, why was she even with guys in the first place? Because hooking up with a guy is the easiest thing on earth. Even if a girl's gay, she's gonna try it at least once or nine times. Wait, yeah, so true. first time you're curious, second time you're bored, and ninth time you're just trying to keep the lights on. And I just want to see how cool it is that you guys are so open about this. Right? Yeah. I kissed a girl at a party once, and I totally get the appeal. Lesbianism is just so, so bold. Have you thought about, like, going full time with it? For full like, time? Married? Yeah. Fuck mm. that. Then I wouldn't have a rich husband. Isn't there more to a relationship than money, though? Maybe. I see you guys ride around in that beat-up Camry, and it's cute. But I'd never cuff a broke bitch. Can you believe her? Yeah, these by curious hoes, fuck them. By the way, did you wanna- Hold on, I'm replying to something. Okay. Are you done? No, shut up, hold on. Nicole, I- I don't really like it when you tell me to shut Just up. Just fuck off, okay? Maybe quit the box die, it's fucking your brain up. <gasps> oh, shit. Don't yell at her like that. Come on, Nicole. Um, hey, listen, uh- I'm really sorry for not respecting your boundaries. I promise it won't happen again. Oh. What? I was totally in the wrong. You had every right to say Oh, she is so well, fucking easy to manipulate. Because you're sorry, you 
dumb bitch. I know I'm a dumb bitch. I'm sorry. I love you. I think I'm starting to love you, too. You guys see the new Smallville? Dude, Smallville's for straight people. Who watches that shit? <laughs> it was straight three weeks ago. Yeah, and I didn't watch it then either. <laughs> Guess it's just you. Maybe she's still by. I don't know. Still by yeah, while with, uh... It was okay. Was anyone asking you? Um, no. Just checking. Anyway, I was gonna buy lunch today, but the lines are, like, so long. It's probably spicy chicken sandwich day. Oh, and I want one. Me too. Ari, get us the chicken sandwiches. I'll pay you back. But the line's gonna take forever. Can we just... Don't you love me? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the gaslighting. Cool. Yeah, I'm Manipulating. They have enough. They're big. You gonna eat two? One for now, one for when I'm depressed. All right, you got so for right away. Be right back. You're forgetting something. Oh, right. Sorry. Mwah. Good girl. Don't make me ask again. I know. Oh, I she's like enjoying it. this a lot. Nice. What the fuck? I know. What's her problem, right? No, what the fuck did you do to her? She's like your pet now. Yeah, so you know how I wanted out of the relationship? What I thought would be more fun than breaking up was just seeing what I could get away with. Get away with what? Oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Everything so far. I'll literally call her a bitch to her face and she'll just apologize and kiss me on the cheek. It's such a power trip. Uh, it sounds like abuse. Fuck that. yeah, I love abuse. Honestly, if it is, abusing feels fucking awesome. Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> yeah, you know why you're getting away with it, right? Oh, let's hear this. Because you're her only option. So you're taking advantage of the fact the only lesbian in school knows there aren't any other lesbians to date here. She's basically stuck with whatever you want to put her through. She can break up anytime she wants. She's not stuck with anything. Okay, so she breaks up to move on to who? The only girl willing to date her is her abusive ex-girlfriend. And? No offense, but you're like an evil fucking bitch. No, okay. If you're so high and mighty about it, why don't Are you, you just tell her that she's girl bossing? Me? The dynamic, the game, everything. I don't know her like that. Awkward, ew. If only By the way, you just lost the game. Where friends spill their hearts out to people they barely And know. you are blinking you manually. Can't even watch anything good. You watch Smallville. You're evil. You're friends with someone who's evil. You're friends with someone who watches Smallville. Holy shit, don't say it that loud. <laughs> Again, I apologize for the misunderstanding we had last time the two of you came in here. I would never want to be mistaken for an abuser. I can assure you that. Well, you're not an abuser, you're just yes, a pedophile. Anyway. Nicole, it's been a while since we've chatted. What's going on with you? What's going on with me? Yes, if you'd care to share with us. What the okay, hell no. do you say to that? A variety of things. You could speak about what you did over the weekend or something that's caught your interest lately. Ari and I are here to listen. Okay, well, I heard Kanye West just got out of jail. Really? Tell me more. Oh, he's been um, in jail? He was like in 15 jail years ago? and then he wasn't in jail. So why was he in jail in the first place? He broke somebody's camera and now his new album's delayed or something. A new a tragedy. Do you think it'll be as good as his last album? No. Why are you pretending like you know what I'm talking about? I'm not pretending. Just having a conversation. Uh, name one Kanye West song. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. What are some uh, that, that, that one Jay-Z song where they are in Paris? You know that word isn't welcome on this campus. I'm gay now, I can say it. The F word. But the homophobic one's fine then. Well, out of respect to Ari here, I wouldn't say that's fine either. Ari, how does that make you feel? Well, actually, I actually wanted to ask something. When you said we mistook you for an abuser. Yes, go on. Like how? You you weren't violent or anything. I don't. Oh no! It. Don't but educate her. Come in many forms, not just violence or physical assault. It could be psychological. Oh, but I want to keep emotional, mentally abusing her. Financial. So much fun! Such such a power trip. Control over another person. Like how you want to molest kids? I think they call it sexual abuse. Nicole, what did I say? Something about fucking kids. That's it. This session is over. I'm sorry, but you'll both have to come back at a later time when you learn how to behave yourselves. But I didn't... Out! Finally, fuck. He's like the guy in every sitcom's pedophile episode. Every sitcom has a pedophile episode? Yeah, where the kids learn a lesson or whatever. Oh, yeah. Nicole? What? Could I ask you something? No, sorry, I don't have any more kisses today. The kiss factory's closed. Somebody died. No, it wasn't about that. It was... Uh, why are you dating me? 
Why am I dating you? Out of pity. Why am I doing anything? I don't know. It's just, I was thinking about what the counselor said in there. Dude, your shirt isn't see-through. He's just a pervert. Well, no, that's a way bigger problem, but I'm just talking about us right now. What about us? I'm just thinking, like, what we've been for the last couple weeks. You mean awesome? Maybe awesome for you, which is good, but what he said about how abuse works, it, it kind of made me worried. So I'm abusing you? Uh, I don't know. If you do, I don't think you mean to. When have I ever hit you or anything? You haven't, but the emotional abuse and how it controls... Ah, yeah, you'll get over it. ...wait into what the fuck he says? He's a counselor. Yep, keeps gaslighting. about this stuff. I'm your girlfriend. I pay for your five guys. He wants to put his dick in a child. How am I getting outclassed here? No, I always have to pay when we go to five guys. <laughs> hey, well, your dad drives a Lexus. Don't worry about it. But I'm just saying, like, how are you going to let our freak fucking counselor put all these ideas in your head? Nicole, I've had these ideas for a while. All he did was give me the words to tell you. Tell me what? I don't think we should see each other anymore. So I'm losing my girlfriend because of the pedophile counselor? Gee, that's a low blow. I got dumped before the counselor got reported. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna go home and kill myself. Is that gonna be the ending? She legit kills herself. Oh, okay. Is dust off the same high as whippets? I never tried dust off. Really? Why is that surprising? You've tried everything else when a guy offers. Why would I flirt with a guy to get a free hit of dust off? You can get the whole thing at a store for like three dollars. Only three dollars? Yeah, have you ever gone to a Staples? Oh, Staples? What, are you too high school musical to walk into a Staples now? No, every time I go in the one near school, the manager always flirts with me. He's like, let's find you a new computer, sweetie. What if he just wants to sell you a new computer? With his hand on my ass? <laughs> yeah, a little late on that detail. Gotta get that <laughs> customer bonding, bonding if you know what I mean. Paxson can get me something I actually want. Ugh. I'm not gonna make out with a manager for a free pencil case. Are you saying you made out with a guy at Paxson? You're gay, right? Don't ask, don't tell, bitch. Not gay anymore. Oh my god, I forgot. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. No, it's okay. That's a little bi curious, I'd say. Are you sure? Didn't you like try killing yourself over it? Honestly, not really. Like, I got in a tub, caught a little, and the water was really nice and warm, and... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I get that. Oh shit, she's coming over here. What? Why? Hey, Nicole. Hi? I just wanted to talk a little again, see how you were doing. You haven't showed up to the group depression counseling in a while. Yeah, I sort of quit that. I figured it would be awkward and everything. Kind of like this. Sorry, I know. I just worry a lot. Uh, are you trying to get back together again? I don't get it. Yeah, uh, that's not exactly an option for me anymore. Hey, Ari, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just wrapping up here. Who's this? Oh, yeah, um... Oh, you two are dating? This is my boyfriend, Hunter. We've been dating couple for a couple weeks. weeks. Hey. What the fuck? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about staples. The store? Long story. Ari, I gotta get back, but your tray is at the table for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Snookums. Snookums. What the fuck says Snookums? What was that? Oh, sorry. What yeah, what I was, was saying. I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this eventually. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. What the fuck? Are you thinking about Staples again? No, like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is, I still love everything about girls. I love how they talk, how they laugh, how they use moisturizer, how they do makeup. I love how girls do their hair, how they smell nice, how they don't wear the same thing every day. And I really love how they hold your hand and how it feels when they kiss you back. Dating you helped me find the words for that, Nicole. Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like... Even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. Yeah, that is true. What we had together made me realize something else. Realize what? Guys are really easy. Guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. Well said. You bullied a gay girl. And <laughs> you She's not straight now. She's just going to be miserable for the rest of her life. Big difference. Are you seriously not getting how bad this is? How bad what is? You bullying a gay girl in the <laughs> street? I didn't 
<laughs> Holy shit. Oh. What's the difference? One's homophobic, the other's just regular bad. So you get how bad this is then. Bitch, you watch Smallville. Do you get how bad that is? <laughs> That's not gonna work this time, Nicole. What the fuck is this? Why do you even care? Whatever. Whatever what? Are we not friends anymore? Well, I wouldn't want you as an enemy. Holy shit. No, explain to me how this is any more awful than anything I usually do. Because usually you do it to men. I'm like, was that overboard? And you always say he'll end up a rapist or pedophile anyway. But she's a teenage girl, Nicole. She is a gay, codependent teenage girl, as if it wasn't hard enough. What's your excuse this time? That bitch stole my depression idea. Fuck her. <laughs> you should have oh, beautiful. That's some sweet revenge you there. Feel guilty for just wondering if you should feel guilty. She poured her heart out again and again over how she felt about me, but it's like, isn't she better off? Like, I told her it's hot she cuts herself, and I wasn't lying, but am I really the one here? Going by Jekka's bitch morality, abusing her was a good thing. Figured it out sooner than later, right? But then you gotta ask, would you rather be alone, or have a hot, twisted bitch who demeans you in public but gives amazing head? These are the real Second. questions that plague society. Any day of the week. I that for the other physically bisexual mentally gay girls talking with straight guys must be so fucking weird for him they're both worried about what girls are thinking both go into depressive fits when a girl won't text them back they experience the same dating dynamics and yet they will never bond over it because the guy will say well if you're sad and lonely i'm here and she'll go i'm actually more gay than bi and then he's like all right bitch fuck you then guess you don't know how it feels i'm not saying i've seen it but it's totally possible did I have a moral with this? Fuck. The moral is a new message. Uh, Ari, <laughs> the, the gay one. You're a fucking bitch. Every time I miss you, I remind myself it's exclusively for the sex and I can pay for that. So bitch, you're not priceless. Not even close. P.S. Call me for... Shit, I'm... No. I'm too young for that. Uh, is sorry, high as fuck right now. Gee, this makes me want to fucking kill myself. Yeah, life.